Yorubun and Yonaseyo, speaking English podcast. E Ozingu Wan Yong Hamida. Yonun Won Yongya Sebastian Imida. What's up? Hello and welcome to episode 137 of the Speaking English podcast. Thanks for tuning in, and this introduction was in Korean. Uh, and I hope I did not embarrass myself and uh, say anything stupid there. So today we'll do another episode on phrasal verbs because uh, you seem to like it and uh, I like what you like. So we'll do today to fill in. And it's two variations, to fill in on or to fill in for. Okay, so... Um, you can have, for example, a form. You know, you uh, have to write down your name and your date of birth and the town in which you were born. And then um, you give it back and the clerk says, could you please fill in your name? Because you forgot to fill in your name. Okay? So, um, <clears throat> assuming, of course... Uh, um, Excuse me, I should have said in the beginning. To fill is basically, um, imagine you have a empty glass, an empty glass, and you pour water in it. Then you are filling it. That is to fill, okay? You see, you put something in something. So to fill in, uh, fill in your name, asks the, cl the clerk, and... Um, so you, what you have to do is you have to write your name in that form on on the line where it says name. Okay, so I would have to fill in Sebastian there. Okay, that's one meaning. Then you have fill in or fill in on, in the sense that. you provide additional information okay so imagine I wasn't in the meeting at work and I go to a colleague of mine and ask him uh, you know Peter I wasn't there what was discussed can you fill me in can you fill me in on what I missed Okay, so you can either say fill in in this case or fill in on. <clears throat> and um, so what Peter is supposed to fill is my knowledge, okay, or my um, the holes in my knowledge. I'm missing information, he fills this in. Okay, and then you can, we have to fill in for. Uh, which is again at work I would like to take Friday off because I want to take my son to the zoo but somebody has to do my shift so I am asking a colleague again can you fill in for me I'm asking him to fill the void in time and work that would uh, be there if I wouldn't just go if I would if I would just go okay so somebody has to do my work and I'm asking him to fill in for I'm asking him to do my work okay good now phrasal verbs um, can sometimes be separated which means the phrase, you know, we have two words here at least. We have fill and in. There can, some things, other words can be in between. Okay? Some are separable and words can go in between. And some are not, so they have to stand together. To fill in for, I'm asking Peter, um... Can you fill in for me? Fill in for. 
these three words they have to stand together okay uh, I can't say fill in me for it has to be fill in for me in the previous two examples we had to fill in something in a form for example uh, she says uh, your name is missing can you or you and your um, your name and birth are missing can you fill them in and then you have uh, fill in on can you fill me in on in both of these examples you can see I put words between or in that phrase which that means they are separable by the way I'm taking examples at the moment from the website www.eslcafe.com ESL stands of course for English as a second language and I'll put the link on speakingenglishpodcast.com so you can uh, check those out uh, it's a great site done, done by a guy named uh, Dave okay and uh, okay I, I hope these three examples are three three are clear now and if you have a question you can send me an email also I got a note from somebody who was wondering where the script to the show was and I had to explain that there is no script at the moment again the question to you is a script something that you would be interested in let me know alright so um, thanks for tuning in send me email go to if you're new to this show don't forget to go to iTunes and subscribe uh, it's listed there or just put the URL in uh, in the um, in your feed reader and uh, what else mm, well how about if you are on Facebook then you um, become or you like this show you can go to facebook.com slash speaking English podcast you can tell your friends and co-workers about it or invite other people on phrase Facebook to like this show and uh, there are all sorts of things you can do you can buy the theme music you can or listen to it you can um, go to the page next topics and vote on what you would like to hear and if you choose to do to check other then write down what you would like to hear all right okay thanks for tuning in bye bye